welcome to lesson one. So in this lesson we're going to be covering scales, uh, what they are, how they work, and we'll go over a couple of scales. Um, I'm going to leave a whole bunch of stuff in the description to actually write down the stuff that, that I'm covering here so that you can refer to it or read along or whatever you like. And if you've got any questions, if I've missed anything or have gone a bit too fast, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. So first thing we're going to do is start on the C. So C being the easiest on the piano, no sharps or flats. So the same note repeats itself every octave. So all of these notes are the note C, they're just one octave higher than the previous C. And there are 12 notes from one octave to the next. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we get to the C and then it repeats indefinitely. So any combination of these 12 notes gives you some kind of scale. Even if it's not a scale that's ever been used before and one that you've made up completely, any combination will give some sort of scale. So over the, and obviously there are like tens and scores of scales really. Uh, over the centuries, Western music has sort of settled uh, down on a couple key scales that are used in the vast majority of music. And so I'm going to cover them here. So firstly, some terminology. Um, each step on the piano, so from one note to the next note, is called a semitone. So that's a semitone, that's a semitone, 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 and so on. Two semitones, so make a tone. So that's a tone, that's a tone, 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 etc. If you go up from one octave to the next, playing in semitone, so playing every single note, that's called a chromatic scale. You can do the same in tones, so that's called a whole tone scale. Um, that one sounds a bit weird, but it's supposed to. The, uh, there are, like I said, there are literally scores of scales. There are minor pentatonics, major pentatonics, sounds a bit Asian, and um, there are diminished scales. That. Uh, but the the main ones are the major, the melodic minor, and the harmonic minor. So starting on C again, because that's the easiest, we'll go through the major first. So first I'll play it. That's what it sounds like. So the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. In terms of the intervals, it goes for a major scale, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now, if you follow those intervals, you can transpose it to any other key anywhere else. So for example, from the G, if you go tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, that's the G major scale. You can do the same for F, tone, scale. So obviously the G has an F sharp, the F has the B flat. Um, so yes, that's transposable anyway. Next we can go on to the melodic minor. And the melodic minor is, we'll start from A because again that has no sharps or flats. It looks like that. So it gives a sort of a, whereas the major is a happy sound, this is more of a like a sad sound I suppose. Um, the intervals are tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. So again, you can move that anywhere you like. If we go back to the C, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. So that's the C melodic. Now, there's also a harmonic minor where the only difference is the seventh is sharpened. Um, and the reason that's done is it sounds a bit nicer to the ear um, because we have a, a sharpened leading note going to the tonic. Anyway, it's a bit technical, but that's the only reason it's really done. So, for example, in the A minor, a harmonic minor has the G sharp. Um, so that'll be a, in terms of intervals, a tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone and a half, semitone. So same, if we transpose that to the C, it's tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone and a half, semitone. So 
really those are the three main scales that it, that's used in the vast majority of Western music. And I suppose the reason they're used is because they sound the most pleasant to the ear, or maybe they sound pleasant to the ear because they're the most used and we're the most used to them. If we had been playing... If all music was written in the whole tone, in the whole tone scale, we'd probably get used to that and that would sound nice to us. Um, but... Yeah, so again, if you have any questions, I'm going to write all that down in the descriptions, but um, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And next lesson, we're going to be covering modes. And so modes are actually quite simple. People overthink modes often, but um, if you check out the next lesson, you'll understand what a mode is and how to play in it in a couple of minutes. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. See ya.